2022 was the final year in the lives of some 60 million people. Here are just a few of those lives. In September, the United Kingdom's Queen Elizabeth II died at age 96. Inside Edition digital reporter T.C. Newman was reporting outside at the very moment the news broke. You could definitely notice a hush come across the crowd as the flag started to lower on the top of Buckingham Palace. A bulletin was posted at the gates of the palace. It reads, the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. In July, another world leader passed unexpectedly. The world in shock today. Former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe was giving this speech when he was assassinated. In August, Mikhail Gorbachev, the final leader of the Soviet Union, died at 91. Former U.S. Secretary of State Madeleine Albright died in March at 84. Ivana Trump, the first wife of the former president, died in July. It's the grand staircase inside Ivana Trump's Manhattan townhouse where the 73-year-old was found dead Thursday. Stars of the stage and screen we lost include the legendary Sidney Poitier, who died in January at age 94. He was a Hollywood icon, a trailblazer who made history as the first black man to win a Best Actor Oscar. The beloved Angela Lansbury died in October. A statement from her family said, Dame Angela Lansbury died peacefully at home in Los Angeles, just five days shy of her 97th birthday. The British-born actress is best known for playing the intrepid detective in Murder, She Wrote, the longest-running detective series in the history of television. Star Trek's Nichelle Nichols died in July at age 89. She played Lieutenant Uhura on the original Star Trek TV show. And you may not know this, but she got her start as a nightclub singer. And on one very special day, she serenaded us. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Wise up, folks. We're all alone out there. And tomorrow we're going out there again. Oscar winner William Hurt died in March at age 71. New York Herald Tribune! In September, one of the world's most influential filmmakers, Jean-Luc Godard, died at 90. Director Peter Bogdanovich died in January at 82. Cheers star Kirstie Alley died in early December. Tributes are pouring in today for Kirstie Alley. The actress passed away at age 71 after a short battle with colon cancer. Comedian and TV dad Bob Saget died in January at 65. He was the television dad for a generation of kids. Now they and many others are mourning the passing of Bob Saget. That same month, comic and game show host Louis Anderson died at 68. These are so much heavier than you think, but then so am I. Comic and voice actor Gilbert Gottfried died in April at 67. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you can hear the sound of my voice. Comic actor Leslie Jordan died in October, also 67. Leslie Jordan may have suffered a medical emergency, causing him to lose control of his gray BMW before crashing into the side of this building here in Hollywood. First responders administered life-saving measures for 40 minutes before pronouncing him dead at the scene. And watermelon-smashing comedian Gallagher died in November at 76. Sesame Street lost two of its pillars in 2022. Emilio Delgado, who played Luis the Fix-It shop owner, died in March at age 81. Neighbor Bob McGrath, who is one of the founding cast members of the show, died in December. He was 90. We can all be very happy that we had a chance to be with him and to know him yeah. and to love him a lot when he was here. It was a tough year for Hollywood tough guys. Ray Liotta of Goodfellas fame died in May at 67. His Goodfellas co-star Paul Sorvino died in July at 83. Tony Sirico, AKA Polly Walnuts on The Sopranos died in July at 79. That same week, James Caan, one of the stars of The Godfather and Elf died in July at age 82. Caan's Godfather co-star Al Pacino says, 
it's hard to believe that he won't be in the world anymore because he was so alive and daring. In August, Anne Heche succumbed to injuries she sustained from an automobile accident. The 53-year-old actress who had been declared brain dead after her fiery car crash was pronounced dead this morning. In the world of sports, Hall of Fame basketball legend Bill Russell died in July at 88. Fellow NBA Hall of Famer Paul Silas died in December at 79. Hockey's Guy Lafleur died in April at 70. Football's Lynn Dawson died in August at 87. The Pittsburgh Steelers' Franco Harris died in December at 72. Baseball mourned the loss of 94-year-old Dodgers broadcaster Vin Scully in August. I'm really overwhelmed by the fact that I've been so fortunate. God has blessed me beyond an imagination. The sport also said goodbye to two Hall of Fame pitchers. In October, Bruce Sutter, who was 69, and Gaylord Perry, 84, in December. And New York baseball writer Roger Angel died in May at 101. Fashion figure and creative force Andre Leon Talley died in January at 73. Japanese fashion designer Aizi Miyake died in August at 84. Pulitzer Prize winning author and historian David McCullough died in August at 89. Booker Prize winning writer Hilary Mantle died in September at the age of 70. CNN anchor Bernard Shaw died in September at 82. Activist and black feminist Dorothy Pittman Hughes, who co-founded Ms. Magazine, died in December at the age of 84. We lost several noted musicians in 2022. In January, singer Meatloaf passed away. Inside Edition has learned that the 74-year-old legend died in a hospital outside Nashville where he lived. His wife Deborah and two daughters were at his side. Early May saw the passing of Naomi Judd at 76. The country music world and beyond is mourning the death of superstar Naomi Judd. She passed away just hours before she was to be inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. Olivia Newton-John died in August at 73. The singer turned actress who starred in Greece, one of the most successful movie musicals of all time, spent her final days away from Hollywood on her ranch. Loretta Lynn died in October. She was born a coal miner's daughter, but she became the queen of country music. Music legend Loretta Lynn died peacefully in her sleep today at the age of 90. Rock and roll pioneer Jerry Lee Lewis also passed in October. The career of Jerry Lee Lewis, who died last week at age 87, slammed to a halt after marrying his young cousin. She's now speaking with Amber Cagliano. How did you hear that Jerry Lee Lewis had passed away? My daughter called me and said that her father had died. How do you want to remember him? Alive and playing great balls of fire. Former child star Aaron Carter died in November. Aaron Carter was once on top of the music charts, then substance abuse and mental health issues consumed his life. And this weekend, the 34-year-old Carter was found dead in his bathtub. Screaming Trees singer Mark Lanigan died in February at 57. Foo Fighters drummer Taylor Hawkins died in March while on tour in Columbia. He was 50. Rapper Coolio died in September at age 59. Jazz saxophonist Pharaoh Sanders, who played with John Coltrane, also died in September. He was 81. In October, Haitian singer Mika Ben died of a heart attack on stage in Paris. He was 41. Rapper Takeoff was shot and killed in November. He was just 28. Terry Hall, lead singer of the specials, died in December at age 63. Fleetwood Max Christine McVie died in November at 79. Dancer and DJ Twitch, whose real name was Stephen Boss, died in December. He was 40. His untimely death is generating an avalanche of condolences. I was heartbroken to learn about the passing of Stephen Twitch Boss, tweeted Michelle Obama. And fame and flash dance singer Irene Cara died in November, age 63.
If you or someone you know is struggling, reach out to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline 24 hours a day at 800-273-8255 or by dialing 988. You can also text the Crisis Text Line at 741-741. This is Inside Edition Digital.